Hello, boys and girls. We're going to be talking in the next few weeks about the fruit of the Spirit. You know, the first commandment God ever gave to the human race is be fruitful and multiply. And Jesus said in John 15, I have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. You see, God did not just simply save us so that we can go to heaven one day. He saved us so that we can be fruitful for God's kingdom. You know, I have here a bowl of fruit. And one thing about fruit is there's different kinds of fruit. Not all fruit's the same. Some fruit is more valuable than other fruits. Some fruit's very, very expensive. So it is with the fruits of the spirit. Some fruits are just more valuable than other fruits. For example, the first fruit in Galatians 5 that is mentioned is the fruit of love. Well, the Bible says love is the greatest of all gifts. And so we have to look at all the fruits and recognize they're all important, but it doesn't mean they're all equally valuable. So if you were to bear fruit, the most important fruit you need to bear is love. But Galatians chapter 5 gives us nine fruits of the Spirit. He calls the, these fruits love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness meekness and humility, self-control and faithfulness. See, these fruits are so important, boys and girls, for you to develop and grow. Well, in order to get good fruit though, you have to have certain qualities. First of all, you have to have good ground in order for the fruit to grow. So the first thing God has to do is save you. When Jesus Christ saves you, you become good ground so that he can put his seeds so that you can start to be fruitful. Another thing you also need, you need to have good seed. Well, thank God the good seed that helps us be fruitful is the Word of God. But you know, there's something else that many people neglect. They think if they're just saved and they hear the Word of God, that would be enough. But there's something else that's necessary. We need good weather. You know, lately in El Paso, it's been really hot and it's kind of been dry. And as a result, I have a, my little garden right over there. And I'll tell you the truth. It's, it's been hard to grow some things because the weather hasn't been really good. So what happens in life, the weather is our circumstances. When things go bad, sometimes instead of loving, we get angry. Instead of being at peace, we get worried and fearful. Instead of being kind because someone treats us bad, we be, become mean. You see, so what happens is circumstances will hurt us to keep us from being effective. But God has given you something it's called, the Holy, it's called the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible calls the fruits of fruits of the Holy Spirit. Because God knows that in this world, we're going to have tough times. And these tough times are going to stop us from loving, being joyful. We'll get depressed and sad. It'll stop us from being at peace. We'll get worried. It will stop us from being patient. We'll get frustrated. It'll stop us from being kind. We'll be mean. It'll stop us from being good. We'll start to be bad. You see, all of these things in life will stop us from bearing this wonderful fruit. But through the Holy Spirit, you can start to bear the fruits of the Spirit. So boys and girls, I hope you're ready to learn about all nine fruits of the Spirit that are mentioned in Galatians 5. And there's also some other places that mention some other fruits. But remember, you can bear these fruits. But the only way you're going to bear them is you have to abide in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. So as much as you, you want to be a good person and you want to be loving and kind and at peace and patience and good and, and faithful and be in self-control, as much as you want all of that, you can't have that unless you really abide in Jesus Christ. So it is so important to get in the word, to get baptized in the Holy Spirit and have this supernatural helper. Because in the end, you need help to bear fruit. But God has promised through the Holy Spirit, he will help you if you will let him help you. The fact that you're listening to this teaching means you're wanting him to help you bear fruit. Are you ready to bear fruit? I think you are. God bless you.